you know what they say. Us gamers, in our very real gaming rooms, by the way, are always on the grind. And as such, I guess I'll just have to record my 50k Q&A from my very real gaming room. Let's go. Noah asks, how do you think aliens are gonna look in the Splatoon universe? Uh, hopefully not like this. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it could be some kind of aquatic species that was thought to be dead over here on Splatoon land. But alas, they actually were in space. If we go about the whole, maybe the humans sent something to space thing before everybody went extinct, dearly dad, maybe they could have sent out some other kind of aquatic creature that wasn't a squid or an octopus. Yara asks, excluding the characters who already have themselves an amiibo, in Splatoon 3, who would you want to see get an amiibo the most? Cuttlefish? Where is the Captain Cuttlefish amiibo? Some of the clothes that we have in the Octo expansion probably won't be available in Splatoon 3. Just slap some of your favorites, like the old-timey clothes, on there and bang! Captain Cuttlefish gets an amiibo? SS and Off the Hook fan says, question for the next Q&A. Also, why did I say SS instead of Squid Sisters? <laughs> what are your thoughts about Splatoon spin-offs? Like, for example, a JRPG or a party spin-off? Well, after the Animal Crossing Mario Party game, uh, I think we're good with the party ones. <laughs> Although it would be fun to play, like, Splatoon-themed minigames. I think, like, a cool JRPG wouldn't be that bad. I've mentioned before in an old Q&A that I still think it'd be fun to have, like, a Cooking Mama-esque game, and I still stand by that. Salad asks, very important question, do your cats like salad? Sadly, no. I'm sure they'd like you, but unfortunately, if it's not dairy, my cats don't want in on it. Or, or maybe, maybe like a bag from like Taco Bell. You know, Pebbles really likes to go in the Taco Bell bag. Speaking of Pebbles, I actually tried to start out this video by putting her in here, but it didn't work. And now I'm gonna cut to it right now so you can see what happened. I'm here in my very real gaming room for my very real Q&A with my very real cat. Wow! Waffles asks, oh, continue with the food also. Question, if you were a picky eater as a kid or even now, you could say you're kind of picky yourself. Hey, that's, that's fine. As long as you get your nutrients, you're all good, right? I was not very much a picky eater growing up. Ironically, actually, I still like eating basically anything, but I have a bunch of allergies. <laughs> so there are stuff I should try to avoid, like fresh fruits, which is so sad, because like fruit salads. I, I grew up with so many fruit salads, and it's so funny now thinking about how, like, I, I could eat them back then, but I can't now. I remember growing up at one point, I used to have allergies to carrots, and I still do. And I remember every time my dad would, like, give me, like, a carrot, I would always be, like, you know, have a little itchy throat, but I never thought about anything about it until, like, later in life. And I told my dad one time, he was like, oh, man, what happens to me sometimes, too? But you know what he does? Still, still eats the fruit salads, still eats the carrots, and I'm like, bro! No! Ah. Splatty Boy says, very important question. Are you an Apple or an Android person? Uh, I've got, I've got the, I've got the, I've got the, I've got the good old, the good old Apple. I've always had apples. Our family got on one of those silly little Apple family plan things like years ago. And then like every year I remember they used to be like, oh here, there's a new phone. Take the new phone. And we were eventually like, we don't wanna we don't need to get a new phone every year. So I had the same one for a few years. I think I'm too used to Apple's look to change it. My uh, I have a friend with an Android, and whenever I try to use their phone, it <laughs> Oh I just it, it just confuses me. Like the UI isn't even like difficult. And actually it's much more like robust, I would dare say, but I'm just so used to the way Apple is. Whenever I grab like an Android phone, I'm like, how do I get to like anywhere <laughs> on all these menus? I'm sure if you're used to it, it's probably great, but I'm I'm not, not at all. <laughs> will you ask Vic, when Splatoon 3 comes out, will you grind a lot or just stream PVs and let me get a higher level? Hmm. Hmm, it's, it's sounding like you want to get to a higher level than me. And the answer is, I'm gonna grind that game out until I have every single weapon because it's only my duty as an Ammo Knights employee to make sure I have all the weapons as fast as possible. Hopefully. That's that's kind of the plan. I'm gonna play a lot of Splatoon 3 when that game comes out. <laughs> Sebastian says, what do you think the role of Pearl and Marina will be in Splatoon 3? Can they like, can they hang out at the camp? 
and like take care of cuttlefish. <laughs> Maybe you just show up and they're just there here to give you some tips. They're they're hiding a little bit from one of their tours. They're deciding to hang out with old Captain Cuttlefish post octo expansion. Just maxing and relaxing. You come on in. Does does Neo Agent 3 know who Pearl and Marina are? Bah, I don't know. They could do the Agent 4 thing again and just be like, oh, she, she doesn't know. Ha ha. I think it'd be fun if they were just NPCs chilling. Gary asks, what is the hardest class he took in school? And I could say without a doubt, home ec. For those that have never taken a home ec class, essentially they're like classes where you do stuff like sewing, learning how to balance a checkbook maybe, cooking sometimes, etc. And when I was younger, this is like middle school we're talking about, I was not a hands-on person. I was the kind of kid that would like burst into tears whenever I did the electronics section in science class. <laughs> and my only memory of home ex is this American flag pillow that I made as a child. Woohoo! The old stars and stripes, baby! Like, ignore the cat hair. But look at how hard I tried to get the embroidery around those stars. I was trying my darndest. <laughs> oh, 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 and one more, one more. In sixth grade, uh, we had a science class that was all about projects. Like, depending on your, I don't know how they did it, they split the kids where some of the kids in sixth grade were upstairs on the second floor, and some of the kids were downstairs on the first floor. And you either had all your classes upstairs or all your classes downstairs. And I don't know how they split it. I really think they might have done it based on if they expected you to be an honor student or not, but I really hope that wasn't the case. That was our theory that we had long running. <laughs> but um, this class was horrible. We did, we did projects all year long in this science class. And I remember we did all kinds of stuff like, uh, Put egg inside a box. If the egg can get dropped out the window and not break, you get a lot of points. Otherwise, you don't. I, I did not do well in this science class. And I also did not get into honor science because of it. <laughs> oh, never forget. Emu says, a question for the Q&A. Do you think that your Rowlet plushie will fly if you throw it hard enough? Sounds like the kind of question that my sixth grade science class would help you out with. Maybe they just build you a little catapult and send that bad boy flying. <laughs> Maybe attach it to one of those little tiny custom school rockets and just beep. <laughs> T Powerful says, I really hope they don't take out clam blitz. Is it your favorite? Also a question for the Q&A. Oh wait, that wasn't part of the question originally. Well, I'm, I'm leaving it in. I'm, I'm leaving it in. <laughs> What do you think the backstory for Little Buddy will be? I really hope it isn't something like Little Buddy defects to our side because he realizes that he doesn't like being evil. I I'll take literally anything else besides that. I hope it's just something really simple and dumb. Like, Little Buddy was very hungry and you had a lot of food and Little Buddy went ah ma 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 ma. George Wilkins says, this, of course, while, I, while I'm gaming, playing Splatoon, of course, Nintendo sends you an email asking for one feature that is guaranteed to be added to Splatoon 3. What feature do you pick? You'd pick lobby codes. Yeah, that's 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 pretty high up there. I probably would just go with the classic, uh, let us pick whatever sub and special that we want inside of our private battles. You can't tell me it wouldn't be fun for everybody to have a burst bomb weapon just, just for jokes. It wouldn't, it would be so bad. It'd be so good though too. It'd be great. I just, I just really want that. It'd just be fun. Windfish says, have there been any food in the Splatoon series that you would want to eat IRL? If so, what was that food? I want to jump right into Krusty Sean's truck, eat all the food and then run. Next question. Miriam says, where do you think the golden eggs will be if Mr. Grizz was the villain? Hmm. They're in the back room of Grizzco. We break in. <laughs> Next question. Lil Jack says, since you think that we can have little foods we can make in Splatoon 3, do you think there'd be a store or a building? Well, you know, besides being able to maybe store them in our very real Splatoon 3 apartments, you know, just, just, as, real as, just as real as this gaming room back here. I think it'd be so awesome if we had some kind of cafe. 
I Still Stand by Krusty Sean getting his own restaurant in Splatoon 3 until it is deconfirmed. Until we know all of the stores in this game, I'm gonna stand by Krusty Sean getting the upgrade that he deserves. He moved from shoe guy to following his dreams as a chef, and he's gonna get that ding dang restaurant. I believe in him. Otherwise, though, I think it would be awesome to turn maps that aren't in Splatoon 3 into something useful or reused that's so, like they don't go to waste. Like, imagine a little side store from Arowana Mall, which will hopefully not be in Splatoon 3 because I don't like Arowana Mall very much. I'm sorry if you like Arowana Mall. Imagine, like, a little tiny, like, uh, uh, anything, anything. My brain wanted to say crepe shop, but I don't think Inklings and Octlings would have crepes, but you don't know. <laughs> you never know. Jay says, question, what kind of Splatfest theme would you like to see in Splatoon 3? Hmm, well, back during Splatoon 1, we did have a Pokemon crossover theme at one point. They did, like, a Pokemon Red versus Pokemon Blue. Seeing as we're gonna have Scarlet and Violet come out later this year, I'd be very down a clown with a random Pokemon Scarlet versus Pokemon Violet Fest. Also, why do we never have a Splatfest that was Animal Crossing themed? It's never too late, Nintendo. Come on. You can still do it. I'm liking what you're saying here, Laurel. Laura says, what do you think about the idea of going to sleep in a bed in the Splatoon 3 apartments? Then you could change the time of day without having to wait for the Splatfest. You see, there are ways to make the, the apartment more functional. Take that squid in. <laughs> I think it'd be a good idea, though, because a lot of people have wanted, like, day and night settings, but don't know how to, like, do it. If you just have, like, a little bed you go into, like, Pokemon Arceus Legend style, bang! Change the time. Everybody wins. I get my apartments. Next question. Octonia says, do you prefer snowy or sunny or rainy days? If I am inside, snow is awesome. If I am outside or planning to go outside in any way, shape, or form, keep the snow away. Squiddy says, I have one. If there was a apartment and a computer and you could only play one game, I'm assuming, like, forever, what would you pick? I would have to pick something that would last for a very long time that I wouldn't get bored of. So probably either, I mean, I would love to say Genshin, but I feel like I can only play Genshin for like so many hours before I like, you know, don't have anything to do at the moment unless I want to collect pine cones for my hash browns. So maybe like Osu. <laughs> Assuming you have internet connection, you can just download an endless number of like Osu courses and be good for the rest of your life. You know, my wrists would like snap by the time I'm like 30, but at least I would have endless game. Lucas asks, should Nintendo give us a scoped sploosh or a scoped carbon? I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'd go with the scoped carbon. <laughs> at least if you know you have your enemy in your sight and you go whack with the carbon. Actually, you know what, you know what, you, know what? you go here, here, red for carbon, you go whack with the carbon. <laughs> you know you're getting the kill. Otherwise, with the sploosh, you still gotta fire, like, three shots and not miss. The carbon, I feel like, it benefits more from the scope. Although, I'm very sorry that either of those weapons are having a scope, to be honest with you. I, I wasn't gonna answer this question, because my answer was actually horrible for this. But I'm gonna share it, because it was funny. Axolotl says, uh, probably already answered, but if your Inkling's name is Slushy, what is your Octoling's name? And my brain immediately was like, huh. Eight character name, probably food-based. It could be somewhat similar to Slushy, and then my brain was like, what if you called her Smoothie? And I was like, no. No. No, Eight's... <laughs> Eight's already been through it! We don't need to call Eight Smoothie! <laughs> but I have no other ideas! It was terrible! As so what do you think the potential final Splatfest will be? And while I realized I didn't really have an answer to this one, I thought of a different good Splatfest option. Imagine one of... Dreaming? versus doing. It sounds like one of those ones that they do in like, as like a more philosophical Splatfest, like love versus money or something, where dreaming is like imagining wanting to do stuff, like daydreaming, thinking about stuff, whereas doing is actually getting up and doing the thing. Even if when you do the thing, it's not as wild and awesome as you thought. I'd probably be on team dreaming. <laughs> Clang says, what is your opinion on Pikmin? And if you haven't played it, will you? I've never played a Pikmin game, but I think they're very cute. <laughs> I, 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 the only things I know about Pikmin are the little guys who are very beloved, and then like the big mouth yellow guy who like you can throw the big like flower petal seeds at. Otherwise, 
I don't know, Olimar? That's all I know about Pikmin. I wouldn't be against playing Pikmin sometime, though. It sounds like, it sounds like fun. They're just silly little guys. Robert says, if you were in a game, what game can I be in? Well, assuming that I'm going to be trapped in the game for the rest of my life, I might as well be in a game where I'm hopefully, like, immortal. So, put me in Thrillville, baby! <laughs> for those who don't know what Thrillville is, it's basically this roller coaster park simulator game where you build a roller coaster park from scratch and then you put people on the rides. But the rides aren't always safe, and I'm, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't remember if the NPCs like die or not in that game. But put me as an NPC that rides the roller coaster to Thrillville. That's so hopefully I just get to ride roller coasters forever. Yay! Did you, did, did you like the Q&A like this? <laughs> I might do it more like this more often. But till then, thanks for listening to me yap for like, I don't know how long this video is. I haven't looked at the footage at this point. Hopefully it works. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna get back to playing Splatoon 2 now! Whee! Oh yeah, and you can like, leave your questions in the comments below for next time. That's a good thing to do too. Bye!